Hi, this is Guy. If there's one problem I get a lot of questions about, it's drain flies and fruit flies. A lot of people confuse these two species because they both infest drains. Here are pictures of what they look like. The easiest way to tell them apart is that fruit flies have red eyes and drain flies do not. But you do not need to look at these guys with a magnifying glass or stare lovingly into their eyes to figure out which ones you have because it's pretty obvious. If you are seeing them buzzing around your fruits or vegetables, then there is a good chance that these are fruit flies. If you see them buzzing around your trash cans or the sink drains, then they could be either fruit flies or drain flies. That's really not going to matter though because we're going to treat them both the same. Now some people have written to me to tell me all sorts of ways that they deal with drain flies and fruit flies. And there are any number of videos out there that are going to show you how to do it. A lot of people will tell you to mix equal parts of water, vinegar, sugar, and a few drops of dish soap and then pour it all into a dish or maybe an open jar or something and the drain flies should be attracted to it and they're going to kind of just drown in that mixture that you made. Look, that's fine if your goal is to kill a bunch of fruit flies or drain flies, but that is not going to end the problem. You see, these guys lay a lot of eggs. So if you just kill the adult flies, then they, these things are going to just continue coming because the eggs are going to continue hatching. So if you want to get rid of these guys, then you need to treat the breeding areas. Let's start with fruit flies. Obviously, as the name implies, fruit flies are into healthy eating and they enjoy dining on fruits and vegetables. Your mother would love these guys, right? Well, maybe not. Even though their primary care physician told them not to do this, the kind of fruits and vegetables that they tend to like best are the ones that are overripe or rotting. Wow! That is really disgusting. Is there anything I can do to prevent these guys from paying me a visit? Well, yes, there is. Obviously, you don't want to keep overripe fruit hanging around the house. So, if you start to see any flies buzzing around your fruits or vegetables, it would be a good idea to just throw those things away. Now, the best way to prevent fruit flies is to simply stop buying fruit. Seriously, guy, do you really think you can sell your wife on that idea? Hmm, good point. Okay, short of not buying fruits and vegetables, one of the things you can do to make sure that you don't get fruit flies is to simply wash your fruits and vegetables as soon as you get them home because you want to remove any fly eggs that may be on those items. You should also practice good sanitation and make sure that your food preparation areas and any place that you store these items are nice and clean. Finally, you want to store all fruits and vegetables in sealed containers. Now, some people are going to tell you to simply put your fruits and vegetables in the refrigerator and that will slow down their metabolism and their ability to reproduce. But you should know that fruit flies can live for some period of time in those cold temperatures. Therefore, even if you put these items in the refrigerator, you should still put them in sealed containers. Okay, that sounds great. But what if these guys have already gotten into my sink drains or my trash can? 
Great question. You see, it doesn't matter if you have fruit flies or drain flies. The treatment for drain flies and fruit flies, if you have them in your trash cans or in your drains, is going to be exactly the same. So let's talk about that. Let's start with trash cans. Trash cans are pretty easy. Just keep your trash cans clean and take the trash out regularly. That's pretty much all there is to it. If you are seeing flies buzzing around your trash can, then take out the trash and wash the trash can. Now, drains are a little bit more involved, but they are not that hard to take care of. Most people are going to tell you to pour a little drain cleaner around the edges of the drain every day for about a week, and then just use it once a week after that. The idea is that if you remove the drain buildup, then the flies will have no food source inside the drains and they will not be able to survive. Then, after you've treated the drains like that, then you can spray some sort of pyrethroid product down the drain to kill the remaining flies. Wait a minute. That sounds like it's going to take some time to do and I am constantly going to be spending money on drain cleaner. Is there a faster and cheaper way to do it? Hey man, you're talking about me now. Did you really think that I was going to do a video to tell you to do things the same way as everybody else? Come on, you know me better than that. The way I do it is super easy. Just buy a can of Raid Ant and Roach Killer and spray it down all the drains for about three seconds. You want to do this just before you go to bed and let it sit overnight. In the morning, no more drain flies. Yeah, it really is that simple. I find that one treatment usually gets it done, but if not, just do it two nights in a row. The drain flies are not going to stand a chance. Are you seriously telling me that you are going to shoot a pesticide down the drains? Won't that destroy the planet? And isn't it illegal? What, are you a cop? Look, I know there are a lot of people out there who think using any sorts of pesticides whatsoever is a bad idea. But the simple truth is that shooting a little raid down your sink drains will not result in the, in the demise of our planet in any way, shape, or form. It won't contaminate our drinking water. It's not going to kill the whales. And it's not going to knock the Earth out of its orbit. The truth is that you're going to do more harm to the environment by using chlorine bleach in your wash than you will shooting a little raid down your sink drains. There's going to be a very, very small amount of pesticide that actually goes down the drains. And while little does go down the drains, is going to be mixed with a gazillion gallons of water. So when it gets to the sewer plant, it's not even going to register there. So chill out, little guy. The only thing this is going to do is bring an end to your fly problem. Listen, if you are having problems with any other pests, then click on the, one of the links at the end of this video or in the description. Be well, my friends, and thank you so much for watching.